Hey Robot Makers, the Raspberry Pi organization have just released the new 64-bit version of the Raspberry Pi OS. So you might be wondering, is it worth upgrading now or waiting a bit longer? Well, let's find out. Raspberry Pi Bullseye was released as a 32-bit only release back in November of 2021. So it's been quite a while for the 64-bit version to be finally released from beta version. So over the past 10 years, the Raspberry Pi organization has released quite a few different Raspberry Pi boards. And this means that there is, we're now in a situation where there's two different operating systems depending on which board that you have. So we can see there, the Raspberry Pi 1, 2 and 0 are all 32-bit only machines. They will not be able to run the 64-bit version of the new OS. If we look at the Raspberry Pi 0, 2, the Raspberry Pi 3 and the Raspberry Pi 4, they're all capable of running the new OS and the 32-bit version one as well. So what's the difference between the 32-bit and the 64-bit version? Well, it really comes down to addressable memory size. So a 32-bit address space can only access up to four gigs of memory. So the newer Raspberry Pi 4s have up to eight gigs of RAM. So if it's got four gigs or eight gig, really with a 32-bit version, you're, not, you're only using part of that capability. With a 64-bit version of the OS, you can access the entire eight gigs of memory that's available to you. Some processor intensive tasks will run much quicker under the 64-bit version, so generally, things like file copying which you would have thought was IO bound is a lot quicker and that's because it can copy twice as much at the same time because we've got that extra double the address width. Compatibility with some closed source applications is also better under the 64-bit version and this brings the Raspberry Pi up to date with other modern OS's such as Android, iOS, Linux, Mac OS and Windows as well. So should I wait or should I upgrade now? That's the big question. So what's not working right now? Well, Widevine isn't currently 64-bit compatible on the Chromium browser, and that means that we can't look at things like Netflix. If you, you can browse the, the website, but as soon as you try and click on a movie to watch it, it'll come up with an error message. So I'm sure that will come in time, but currently that's not available. There is a workaround. You can install the 32-bit version of Chromium on the 64-bit version of the operating system without having to roll back. So you can do that as a workaround. One of the things I'm quite interested in is Kubernetes and Docker. There is a lot more container support in the 64-bit version of Docker. In fact, it's almost twice as many. You can see there, there's nearly 120,000 different containers available for the ARM64 platform versus 68, nearly 69,000 for the 32-bit ARM processor. So quite a considerable difference there. So if you like these videos and you want to help me out, you can click the like button, comment below, let me know if you're going to be upgrading anytime soon and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out any new videos. So you can catch me live every single Sunday at seven o'clock Greenwich Mean Time. And if you want to follow me on social media, I'm all over social media. So the quick way is to go to smilesfan.com slash about slash link underscore in underscore bio and you can find all my different socials there. And then finally, if you want to help me support the show financially, you can go either buy me a coffee, going to buymeacoffee.com slash Kevin McAleer, or you can also just click the join button on YouTube just down below. I hope you enjoyed this short video and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.